a lot of people, perhaps like yourself, struggle with creating mnemonic imagery. They're really into memory techniques. They want to be able to just take words and memorize them instantly, and they don't know exactly how they struggle with the actual image creation itself. But the reality is, is that most of us have streets like this in our lives. I used to live right around the corner from here in Toronto, and you can use them to help you memorize any words. So we're going to get an example of that coming right up. Words, words, memory method. So today's word is, and I don't know if I've 100% gotten the pronunciation correct yet, but it's sobra mesa, and I'm not sure regionally in Spanish where exactly you would roll your tongue or not, but I believe a little bit of tongue roll is in order there, and you know, leave me a comment below to let me know if that's right or wrong, and uh, thumbs up while you're at it. I love seeing that you're engaged and you like these videos, and we'll get into a mnemonic example real quick, and you know, let me know in the comments what are words interest you. What would you like to have a mnemonic example for to help unlock your imagination for creating them when your learning words. So what is this sobra mesa? Well, it's after dinner conversation, but I think a little bit more than that. It's that feeling of, you know, just dinner going on and on and on and being really, really super enjoyable after you finish eating and you're just there together at the table. And I was thinking about this word because I just released a new podcast episode on the magnetic memory method with Ollie Richards called it How to Consistently Get Quick Victories with Language Learning Courses, because that is what Ollie Richards is a master at creating for you. And when you're over there, you're going to have the opportunity to take a new free course that he's created, which is for Spanish. And, you know, Ollie and I, we've had dinner in three different countries that I can count on my fingers. And it's just been incredible watching him learn languages so quickly. And uh, that's what brought this word to mind because of the delightful after dinner conversation that we've had in multiple locations. E Egypt, and uh, we've met in Germany, and we've met in England, and so I hope we'll meet in other places as well. We almost got to meet in Hong Kong, but in any case, uh, how are you going to memorize this word? How did I memorize this word the first time around? Well, it turns out that in Toronto, I lived right around the corner from here, there's a Sobeys, and that is this little place right here. Now, I'm not going to tell you about the time I got kicked out of Whistler's because it's kind of embarrassing and it was after a, you know, a, a strange set of mysterious twists and turns and circumstances that are a little bit too unusual. But, you know, they might come in handy for helping me memorize something at a future time. So stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed to this channel for more mnemonic examples like these. But look at Sobeys here. I don't know if you have Sobeys in your town, but you probably have something that has a sound like that. And so you could just use this as a memory palace itself, but it links to that first part of our word today. And then, uh, you know, well, okay, so what about this bruh, you know, or bruh, or however you're going to get that, you know, pronounced for yourself. You want to consult with a Spanish speaker, uh, which is always good to do, but uh, cobra, right? So... I thought of this instantly, and he's dancing on the roof, doing his cobra thing, cobra, la 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 la. You remember that from the movies? I hope I hope you've seen the GI Joe movie because if you haven't, you're really missing out on a lot of mnemonic tools that could be very very powerful for you. Now, not only that, but what if cobra there had some kind of Spanish bra on? You know, maybe he's buying dinner for his after dinner conversation and he's wearing a bra. Now we're getting the actual content of the word, the meaning of the word, into the mnemonic imagery because that's what he's there for at Sobeys. And, you know, you maybe have to think of a different store or you have to think of something completely different that has a so sound for you, and you have multiple options. If you just start practicing this, you're going to find that association is a muscle that you're using all the time anyway, just like you are using your arm muscles to pick milk out of the fridge and drink it. Well, you're using association muscles all the time, but if you go and do push-ups, then those arm muscles get stronger. If you lift dumbbells, do hammer curls, those muscles get stronger. Well, it's the same thing with association. So this stuff can come real, real fast for you. 
you link it up to words and even phrases that you want to memorize, and boom, you get the sound and the meaning together in the same image, recalled it a bunch of times, or as long as it takes, you know, when you get good at this, it can be two to three times, and you're, you're, you're done. You just use the big five of language learning, reading, writing, speaking, and listening, and, you know, use the actual language you're studying, and you can get it in there. And that's true for your mother tongue as well. Reading, writing, speaking, and listening can be quite useful to reinforce whatever you've created images for. So what about this mesa part, or mesa? Well, there is the use of that in English. So you could, for example, I'm thinking maybe John Wayne in The Searchers, except for it's Cobra wearing a bra after buying all his stuff for dinner because he's going to have a friend over for dinner or whatever, and he's going out to the, to the mesa, and he's going to set up, well, a table there. And not just any table, but let's make it a memorable table, you know, like maybe the one that... Uh, is uh, told in a lot of stories. I'm sure you recognize it. If you don't, then, you know, that's uh, the Last Supper there table. It uh, doesn't have any of the occupants yet, which is a great mental exercise, actually, to take famous paintings, remove the figures, and then put people like Cobra in there. And, you know, maybe Antonio Banderas is there as well. I don't know, whoever. Whatever helps you figure out the sound and the meaning of this word Use your associative muscles in your brain, in your mind, in memory palaces. You could use streets in Toronto. You can use streets in New York. You can use whatever you want. But the point of using a memory palace is that it gives your brain an access point, a hook to spatial memory. Spatial memory is usually, for most of us, the strongest memory, the freest resource that we all have. We have this innate capacity to memorize locations really, really well. And so... That's why I think it's the most fundamental technique, and it's the technique upon which you can layer all the other memory techniques of association. Now, the other thing that I would point out here, though, is that you could do this in reverse. So I'm starting with Sobeys here, but maybe you have a friend named Sophie. I happen to have a friend named Sophie, and actually, now that I think about it, her dining room tables in the different houses that I've visited her in are quite interesting. So I could start from there and maybe see John Wayne in The Searchers, you know, having some kind of dinner there, the mesa, and then uh, Cobra can come with his little Spanish-looking bra, and uh, so on, and maybe Sobeys, the, the grocery store, doesn't have to be involved at all. So there's options, 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 but you've just got to simply get in, get started with these techniques. I hope that if you aren't already subscribed to this channel that you will. Again, hit that thumbs up, let me know you're engaged, and post in the comments what you think about this mnemonic example. Is this word interesting to you? Are these images interesting to you? Do you think that you could develop your association muscle just by getting started making associations? Well, I hope so, and I hope that you'll go and check out this new interview with Aldi Richards. The link is on the screen for you to click. It's down in the description below, and he's got a free course that you can learn all about taking just by listening to that interview. And you know, if you're learning Spanish, having associative tools like this could become really, really useful because it maximizes the investment in time that you have. And the short amount of time that I took to explain this, it actually only took me about 2.5 seconds to come up with that mnemonic image. And you can get even faster than that. We know from the memory uh, athletes that you can memorize a whole deck of cards in under 20 seconds. And it's just a matter of practice. Anybody can do it. So Go do some push-ups because that's good for your arm muscles and go do some associations because it's good for your memory muscles. Thanks a lot for watching this. I hope that you subscribe and that subscribe button is down there. Click that little bell because I sometimes do YouTube lives and you'll be notified and you'll be able to join us for a discussion about memory techniques on YouTube. And uh, thank you again for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. And until we have a chance to speak again, keep yourself magnetic. Words, words for memory. Remember them with me and the magnetic memory method.